Hi, I'm Kimber, owner of Water Bear Photography, and today I would like to introduce you to Outex's lines of underwater skins. I have so many photographers in my underwater group ask me about these products that I decided to order a bunch and share with you guys. It can be so overwhelming trying to figure out what you need when you're getting into the world of underwater photography. And honestly, underwater housings are incredibly cost prohibitive and it's hard to figure out what you need, what's overkill, what's going to adapt to your camera, what's not going to function. And by the end of it, you can make some pretty expensive mistakes. So Altex set out to basically fill a gap in the market between a cheap point and shoot underwater camera, which is how I started and how many of us started, all the way up to the high-end, hard underwater professional cases, which can run into the, you know, multiple thousands and thousands of dollars. So because of that, they are filling a really unique gap in the market. And I think that this is a fantastic product that's really going to help other photographers get into the underwater world before making a huge investment. So I ordered a bunch of these pieces and I thought I would kind of share with you what each of them do because even no matter what you're trying to figure out, it can be confusing and stressful to try to figure out what exactly are your specific needs. So I try to do it for you. So today I put one of my DSLRs just in the regular skin. The cool thing about this is it has a piece of glass that actually screws into the tripod holder in the bottom of my camera and it's rigid. It doesn't move, which is going to mean that I can see my screen no matter what and this piece isn't going to bang into all the buttons or scratch the glass or damage the viewfinder or anything like that. It's immobile. So you put this piece on first and then you have the front piece of glass as well. This is in their basic kit, the flat glass. And the, the nice thing about this system is that say I have this as my main camera and I wanna shoot with different lenses, the only thing I'd have to purchase would be a different piece of the flat glass that adapts to the millimeter size of my lens. So I don't have to start over every single time like I do with my hard housings where I have to buy multiple zoom gears and adapters and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this makes it really easy. When I purchased the Pro Kit as well, so now instead of just having the flat glass option, I actually have an option for a dome port. And Altex uses real glass for their dome port. These are not acrylic. So even though they're, they keep their costs down by using the silicone skins, they don't skimp when it comes to the glass on the dome port, which as a photographer who appreciates very clear, crisp photos, that is so appreciated. This is the larger of the two dome ports that they offer. And this would just screw again into the adapter on the front. You would just have to buy the appropriate adapter for your lens. So some of the other skins that they offer instead of just the basic one, this one is sealed all the way around. So there's no, no holes anywhere else. It is a self-contained unit, which means that I cannot use flash or put it on a tripod. However, they offer this one that has a convenient hole in the bottom. So you can use this for tethering flash. You can put your camera on a tripod. There are multiple different uses for this system as well, but the top is still self-contained, has the hole for the back glass, and then for either the dome port or the flat glass on the front. This piece is really neat in that you can put an on-camera flash directly on your camera in the hot shoe mount. So that is going to give you so many more options if you would like to have light underwater and you can use the flashes that you already have without investing in expensive underwater lights. So this is a really cool one. And then last but not least for the camera skins, we have this one. This does not have a piece of flat glass in the back. It is just a flexible silicone skin and it's going to let you shoot in adverse conditions, in the pool, etc. Now just to bear in mind with me, I know many of my followers and group members are scuba divers. These are not meant for scuba diving. This is meant for very shallow water and inclement weather. So high dust conditions, intense rain, going under a waterfall, for example, but you do not want to go anywhere where there's going to be pressure. So I would keep it above 10 feet and refer to their instructions, of course. So then we have for flash options. I really like to be able to use flash, not on my camera because it's not my favorite thing to get that super flashy paparazzi look, teach their own. So what I can do with this system is I can take, they make housings 
I'll show you right here. So this is an empty one of what I just showed you with my flash in it. I put my regular strobe inside and it has this rigid piece just like it does for the camera. You attach it to your strobe using the silicone kind of sock. You put this on your flash and then this piece screws in and attaches firmly to the silicone skin. And then it also has the thing for the bottom where the cables can come through and attach without letting water intrude. So if you decide that you would like to shoot tethered, you can use this housing and run the cables through the bottom here and into your flashes and you can shoot tethered. That's going to open up so many possibilities for underwater lighting and on an amazing budget. I'm not gonna have to buy new underwater lights. I can tell you that my constant lights that I use underwater run about $1,000 a piece. So this is going to be a huge savings for somebody who wants to get into lighting underwater scenes, but can still use the gear that they already have. So once again, while I would not recommend taking these you know, to depth at all, Altex provides an amazing bridge between these two worlds where it's going to let newer photographers get their feet wet and be able to start in this venture, figure out if they like underwater photography, if it's something they want to invest more heavily in. Additionally, these are so handy for travel. Will and I travel so much for underwater work. We're actually heading out soon for an international trip. And instead of bringing my full heavy housing that I've lugged to multiple countries, I am so excited to just bring one of the skins because I'm not going deep, I'm not scuba diving, I'm literally just going to be shooting in some of the cenotes. So this is the perfect travel option for me and it's not going to add any weight to my bags. Additionally, we also have a trip coming up to very rainy Ireland and I fully intend on bringing one of these skins so that if the sky opens up in the middle of a shoot, my shoot's not ruined and we can just proceed as normal. So I hope that this was really helpful and if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them below in the comments. As always, I am Kimber, owner of Water Bear Photography, and if you are interested in underwater photography and learning more about it, I would really encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel and to join my Facebook group. It's called Underwater Portraiture with Kimber, where you can meet like-minded photographers who are venturing into the world of underwater photography in a safe, kind, and supportive environment. Thanks so much.